Do you want to be intellectual? Do you want to be strong? And you want to be a good person? Do you want to be rational? Well, um, you know, that's great. That sounds great. It sounds really good. But if you're an atheist and you're saying that that's what you want, if you're an atheist and you're saying that somehow atheism provided that for you, that's where I'm going to be saying, look, that makes no sense to me. This is a video response to Together for Peace's video about how atheism brings about no rationality, no hope, and pretty much makes your life meaningless. Um, let me just say, that's completely wrong, okay? Atheism brings about rationality in many, many ways. Believing in God is pretty irrational in my eyes because, you know, it's the same thing as me telling you, I can fly, unaided. I can just soar up into the skies because you have no proof that I can fly. You have no evidence that I can fly. Yet, if I'm going on the same logic process that you say that there is a God, then that must mean I can fly because I say I can fly. And if I have enough faith that I can fly, then that must mean I can fly. And that just doesn't fly with me. Um, also, um, you're saying that atheism is deceitful? It just simply states that there is no God. Atheism is completely logical. Atheism says that if I can't see it, I won't believe in it. And it's simple as that. You think atheism cares about meaning? It's nothing. There's, there's no meaning. Billions of years of evolution. Here you are. Here I am. Random mutations. Natural selection. Time. Here you are. Meaning? Meaning? I mean, what? what who gives meaning to, to you wanting to be strong and, and individual? I think in that little segment that we just saw, you just completely shoved aside hours and hours and hundreds of hours of scientific research. Um, you know, that evolution, it's all bullshit. Just get that out of here. That evolution, silliness, Darwinism. Are there tough things in life? Certainly there are. But being an atheist doesn't answer any of that, as far as I'm concerned. What do you mean, are there tough things in life? Um, are there tough things in life? Yeah, you know, your mom gets cancer. What do you do? You go and pray to God about it. You go and pray to your God that he will help your mother get through cancer. And you know what? If, if God has a will and everything is just by God's will, in the words of George Carlin, what's the point in praying anyway? I mean, if God's just going to do whatever he wants to do, then I don't see the point in praying. At the end of the day, I see atheism for really what it is, and it's nothing. There's nothing there. You don't see atheism for what it is. You see it for nothing. It is the belief in nothing. I think those are two totally different things. So let me ask you, together for peace, um, what if you're wrong? What if you're just wasting your time? And I know that you're just going to answer that with another question by saying, well, what if you're wrong? What if you go to hell and burn and die and choke and scream forever and ever? I'm willing to take that risk, but what about you?